Welcome to this lesson on distance and midpoint formulas. This is just going to be a quick review of the distance formula and the midpoint formula and how to use the points to find each of these values. So the distance formula finds the distance between two points. It also finds the length of a line segment on a coordinate plane, on a graph. So you have the formula below. And you can label your ordered pairs, x1, y1, x2, y2. And just substitute it into the formula. All right, so x2 minus x1. So x of 2 minus x of 1. y sub 2 minus y sub 1. And then you can just simplify from there. So negative 7 minus negative 3, that's the same thing as a plus, so that would be negative 4 squared. Negative 8 minus 5 is negative 13 squared. All right, and that gives me 16 and 169. I'm going to add those together. That gives me 185. And then I'm going to take the square root of that and I get about 13.6. All right, for the next one. All right, so x of 2 minus x of 1 y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So negative 4 plus 5, that's 1. 1 minus 8, that's negative 7. That would give me 1 plus 49, which is the square root of 50, which gives me about 7.1. All right, I'll do one more together. Alright, 3 minus 5, 8 minus 4, so that's negative 2 squared plus 4 squared, so 4 plus 16, which is the square root of 20, which gives you about 4.5. And I'm just rounding to the tenths place. All right, pause the video now and go ahead and try 4, 5, and 6 by yourself, and then we'll check it. All right, so on number 4, I got 9.9. .9. On number 5, I got 6.3. And then on number 6, I got 11.0. All right, let's try the midpoint formula now. So the midpoint formula finds the middle point between two points. So if you have a line segment, the midpoint would be the point right in the middle of those two endpoints. All right, and the formula is given below. So let's try one, x1, y1, x2, y2. So the formula says add x1 plus x2. So x of 1 plus x of 2. And this is an ordered pair, so we have two parts. So this part is going to give me my x coordinate. And then this part, y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2, will give me my y coordinate. And if you think about it, the midpoint is really just the middle or the average of the two points. So really, we're just finding the average of the x coordinates. I added the x coordinates together and divided by 2. And then the average of the y's. So add the y coordinates and divide by 2. So you don't necessarily need the formula for midpoint. You just need to remember to find the average. Okay, so 8 plus negative 9, that's negative 1 over 2. 0 plus 1 is 1 over 2. So if you want to leave it in fraction form, you can. Or you could change it to a decimal, negative 0.5 and 0.5. All right, let's try another one. So remember, I'm just adding my x coordinates and dividing by 2, and adding my y coordinates and dividing by 2. All right, so that would be negative 5 over 2. 
negative 19 over 2. So if you want to leave it as a fraction, you can. A lot of times for, um, for graphing, it is easier if you have a decimal. So let's change those to a decimal. So this would be, I'm going to write it over here, negative 2.5 and negative 9.5. That's going to be easier to find on a coordinate plane. All right, let's try one more. So remember, I'm just adding the x coordinates and dividing by 2, adding the y coordinates and dividing by 2. So that would be 6 over 2, which is 3. If it reduces, always reduce. And then negative 3 plus 9, that's 6 over 2. So again, 3. So my answer would be 3, 3. All right, go ahead and pause the video and try 4, 5, and 6 by yourself. Okay, so number 4, you should have gotten 0, 5. Number 5, you should have gotten 2.5, 0. And then number 6, negative 0, 0.5, 3. All right, let's try a couple more. So on the next page, it says find the distance and the midpoint on the graph. So on the graph, there are a couple of differences that we can use that it's going to make it a little bit easier for us. A couple of tips that we can use. So the first one says find the distance and midpoint. So for midpoint, if you can tell the middle just from the graph, and that's totally fine. So looking at this line segment, I can tell that the midpoint is right here. So the midpoint is 1, negative 1. So I don't have to use the formula. However, for distance, I am going to have to use the distance formula or the Pythagorean theorem. So let's try the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so what I mean by that is I can use the line segment as the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So this is 2, has a distance of 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and this is my C. So this is just another way to find distance. I could also use the distance formula, but let's try this way. So 2 squared plus 6 squared equals C squared. So 4 plus 36 equals C squared. 40 equals C squared. So take the square root of that, and that would be 6.3 for my distance. All right, and then in the next example, the midpoint is not directly on a point, but I can still tell it's right there. It's the middle of the two points. So that would be negative 3, negative half, or negative 0.5. And then the distance, I don't need to use any formula. I can just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if the line segment is vertical or horizontal, just count the distance on the graph. All right, you can go ahead and stop the video now and complete the practice problems below and check it with your teacher.